like I'm nervous. Yeah, but I'm not so excited. I'm really nervous. around you, science is everywhere. Science is something that's not, it's not, it's not just a subject, it's an art. It's something that you love, passion. Passion drives you. I love science because one, in Nigeria here, um, science is a, a thing we lack here. We lack the enthusiasm, the drive, the skill. So I'm, I'm, I love science. I can pursue this dream and make Nigeria a better place. I make the world a better place. I love science because everything is made up of science. There's nothing that's not science. And I have a curious mind. I love science. I love science because I believe it's my calling. I believe I think science is a good thing, especially in Nigeria, because that's what we're actually lacking right now. I expect you when I was working time to improve my speed and precision and accuracy and everything. I expect to. Performance because science is something that's inborn, it's something that you learn over a couple of years. So I feel I'll do quite well. Without science, there is no life. That's the reason why we are training, the, you know, future scientists, and that's the reason why we're here. Things are happening these days. We are seeing new, new innovations. And because of it, we need science so that they will be able to know that, to be able to think very fast and to be able to make, bring out innovation by their own self. Science is important because all the problems of life, science solves them all. Nature has provided us with everything. What science does is to make use of what nature has given us and to even complement the areas nature has not provided. Science basically is just a way of life. And we, life generally needs to be studied. So generally we are exposing the students to life. InterSwitch Spark competition is a science-based competition. Basically just to expose the science-oriented students to sciences generally. We have the potential to compete for the examination because we want them to be exposed to the external environment, to know what is happening around and to see the importance and the effectiveness of education. We registered because um, Unique Heights is um, science oriented and we believe that um, we have uh, good students that are well trained scientifically that can win this competition. I'm expecting them to perform very well because I know my students and I know that they are well-groomed students. We don't have two expectations, just one. Believing that we can win it and that's the reason why we're here. One, for them to be more confident of what they have learned. Two, for them to know science is the problem solver of life. And three, for them to win. The expectation is just to expose these students out here into this competition and with the aim of doing exceedingly great. went well. It was, it was okay. I think I would do well. I believe I performed excellently well. I think I did pretty well and the exam was quite okay. Biology was well, quite easy. The exam was challenging. It was tasking. It brought the best out of, out of you. It was actually, I was meant to see men from boys, like people you say. Physics was in the middle and maths. Maths was quite easy. I'm optimistic. I feel I did pretty well. I did quite well. And I hope and I pray I make it into the next round. I believe all is well. We all went for after school lessons to prepare for this exam and Saturday coaching too. Preparing for the exam was quite tasking. When I was told about the exam, I was told that it was a difficult exam that I needed to have covered the whole scheme. I had to be like a university graduate to pass the exam. So I started reading, I finished all my textbooks. I prepared for the exam by reading two hours every day so as to get a good result. I'm actually excited because I remember when we first sat in the office and we were planning this 
and our goal was actually just to switch a future. We wanted to give a child an opportunity to live their dreams. We wanted to give them an opportunity to actually be whatever they say they want to be. So being seeing those kids, I'm super excited and I've interacted with a few of them and I think we have some of the smartest kids in the world. It's been wonderful seeing the way Nigerian students in SS2 are excelling in sciences and we just want to help to ensure that they do better in the STEM subjects generally because the, the test is on all the sciences and mathematics. In SS1 you are just getting into the sciences really. By SS2 you are full-fledged science students and it's easier then to test them. Right now, writing the exams, we have over 11,000 students across the nation writing InterSuite Spark exam. Out of this 11,000 students, we're going to choose 81, the 81 best students. InterSuite's vision is to create transaction solutions that make individuals and communities across Africa prosper. So, and uh, we believe that to, for Africa to take the right place in, in the world, we have to invest in human capacity, we have to invest behind education. We know that government alone cannot do it. Government will need the support of corporate organizations and industry is ready to take that charge, ready to take up that challenge to invest behind education. Because we believe that uh, solutions to Africa's challenges, solutions to Nigerian challenges, will come right from Nigerians, will come right from Africans. So if nobody is ready to do anything to support government in this regard, then who will? We are very happy with the response of Nigerians to this program. We have registration from all the states across Nigeria, including Federal Capital Territory. In total, we have a total number of 1,904 schools registered and a total number of 11,412 registered students. So today, over 11,000 students are writing this exam for Nigeria.